Okay, so let's just say you got a Mac Studio and you only got about a terabyte of storage internally. So what is the best SSD for the bang for the buck here that I was able to find? Well, here it is. It is the Samsung SSD 870 QVO. So I was able to look up anywhere, you know, when it comes to these kind of uh, storage options. And I'm glad I found this one. This is basically an eight terabyte SSD. I think that's plenty of space for when it comes to these kind of uh, videos that I, at least I create, which mainly are wedding videos. And one of the things that I love about these uh, SSDs that are reliable. And by no ways or all means, um, not sponsored by Samsung in regards to this. Um, but this is just my own personal experience and opinion. So for you, let's just say you just got a Mac Studio and let's just say you need more storage. Now, frankly, you cannot add more storage or custom that basically to add more later on, but for at least an external kind of use, you know, you could, right? There's so many options out there. There's basically like Sabrent has their own version. And then there is, of course, um, uh, SanDisk has their own version. But for me, at least what I do, I shoot weddings in 4K. And so for my needs are basically to the point that an eight terabytes for the write speeds and the read speeds are comfortable enough where I can edit them. I have no issues of getting it. So right now for the Samsung, what we're looking at for the eight terabytes on Amazon, it's around 732. I think that's a really good price. So this adapter is called a Benfei. And the Benfei goes along with what I bought, which is only like 10 bucks, along with the Samsung SSD storage. And these two combinations, I was able to go ahead and plug it into the back of my Cal Digit, and which is also plugged in all the way to my actual M1 Max uh, uh, 16 inch, fully spec'd out basically with a 64 gigs and the 32 core GPU. I use about six point, no, I actually use about 1.5 terabytes already, but I still have a lot more terabytes left, which is really, really beneficial. And that's what I need when it comes to, especially when you're you know, filming a lot of content or filming for like weddings, for example. The speeds are really comfortable. So if you really wanna shoot in 4K, uh, 4K has just been my thing. I'm, I don't shoot 6K or 8K. Then those would be on a higher price or level, like the Sabrent 8 terabytes, which which it is available for over a thousand dollars. But for me and what I do, I think this uh, SD is comfortable enough for my needs. Um, and then also, uh, look, let's compare this actual price to what Apple has on their website. So if we look into it. Right. If we look into their website and see that their units or actually their when you order the Mac Studio and you want to bump up that storage all the way to eight terabytes. OK, they're going to charge about twenty two hundred dollars. OK, but that's remember it's an internal, not external and external. You can always you know take it with you. If you think about it, let's just say you want to go spend twenty two hundred on the eight terabytes already on top of the four thousand dollars, which it is the base M Ultra. So, and then let's look at the comparison with this one right here, which only costs with a total with the adapter comes out around seven fifty, I would say, and that's a savings of one thousand four hundred and fifty dollars which is crazy, crazy good. So if you want to save $1,450 after buying your own Mac Studio, you can definitely rely on this. Um, and I've had it for quite some time now. I got it for, I've had it for about six months, all the, all the time plugged into my CalDigit dock and it has been no issues whatsoever. So there you go. You know, that's something that you guys can look towards to. Um, and it's definitely budget friendly and it's not gonna, it's not gonna go let you down because it's an SSD, so you won't hear that noise in the background. But um, I'm excited to try this out, even with my current R5C that is still coming on shipment. Oh my gosh, I can't wait for that to come in. Uh, please stay tuned for that one because once I does arrive here, I'll be doing some more tests on that camera. Uh, and that's that's all I have for today. I actually don't own a Mac Studio myself. And 
with that being said this is just what i've seen uh and other other reviewers have been going about the the storage if if, if you can upgrade the storage after purchasing it so uh you can't fortunately not at least for right now but for right now <laughs> the solution is this right it's it's having to get external ssds which is beneficial again again my name is alex thanks for watching and we'll go ahead and catch you guys in the next one. Take care.